My name is Josh Rogers, and uh, thank you very much for tuning in to my recital this morning. Uh, if you've read my post, and that's why you're here, you'll you'll know that uh, in a couple of weeks I'm uh, performing at the Taranaki Classical Guitar Summer School, 
I'll be performing there and giving uh, a lecture, a workshop, and uh, what else am I doing? Oh, and taking some ensembles. It's going to be a great event. Uh, there's a lot of world-class guitarists that will be performing there and giving lectures, workshops, and so on. And uh, this recital that I'm doing here today on the, on the channel is uh, to help me prepare because I haven't actually given a classical guitar recital in public for many years. It's been so long, I can't even remember how long it's been. I think it could be somewhere 15 to 20 years. But anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'm going to carry on. Uh, so the first piece I played just then was Seala uh, Perugunta, which means If She Asks, by Dilemando Ray. And uh, the next piece I'm going to play is Venetian Boat Song by Felix Mendelssohn. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you're here watching. Just leave your name, where you're watching from, what you think of the performance. Uh, feel free to critique me. Uh, it's always good to have feedback. So this next piece is Venetian Boat Song by Felix Mendelssohn.
The next piece I'm going to play is La Paloma by Sebastian Iredia.
The piece I just played is Pavana Capriccio, uh, a piece by Isaac Albanus, who is most famous for Asturias, I'm sure that's his most famous piece. And uh, as you may or may not know, he was actually a pianist, but so many of his, his uh, compositions have been transcribed for guitar, and they seem to sit so well uh, on the guitar. Other pieces such as Cadiz and Granada, Sevilla, very, very popular pieces on guitar. The next piece of my program is uh, Prelude Number One by probably the most well loved composer of all for guitar, Francisco Terega. I really love that piece. It's one of Tadega's lesser known pieces, but when I played it on my channel years ago, uh, it, it was very popular and a lot of people hadn't heard it. And even I hadn't uh, actually stumbled across it on YouTube when uh, 
uh, some famous conductor was giving a master class to a young guy that was playing it. And I thought, oh, that piece is beautiful. The next piece is Prelude in D, uh, BWV1007 by Johann Sebastian Bach. Sadly, in that I haven't learned the allegro, which uh, I should have done. Most uh, performers always play those together, the prelude and allegro. Uh, it's something I should get around to doing. <clears throat> you know, moving on to the next piece, uh, this is Milonga by Jorge Cardoso. I believe Jorge Cardoso is actually a doctor by trade, by profession but also a wonderful guitar player. Thank you. 
It just seems to, it's mesmerizing. It just keeps rolling. Uh, one of my favorite pieces to play. <laughs> We're staying in South America. On to one of my other favorite composers for guitar, Agustin Barrios. This piece I actually have been playing for oh, about 30 33 years. I first played it for my grade seven Trinity College guitar exam a long time ago. This is Julio Florida by Agustin Barrios. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Um, once again, I'd, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to the recital today. You know, in case you've just joined, uh, this is a recital uh, or a run through of my recital for the upcoming uh, Taranaki Classical Guitar Summer School uh, beginning January 15th, 2024 uh, here in New Zealand. It's probably the biggest event for classical guitar that there is in the country, apart from a couple of competitions. Uh, and uh, yeah, just in case you're tuning in just now, I'll be performing there. I'll also be doing a masterclass, but the masterclass I'm doing won't be for guitar. It's actually for digital publishing. Uh, as long-time followers of the channel or subscribers will know that I've been on YouTube for about seven years. Quite inactive over the last three years because I had another business that was uh, took up most of my time. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what I'll be, I'll be lecturing down in, uh, in Taranaki and teaching classical guitarists how to create YouTube channels and uh, how to create tabs and digital products. So that's what I'll be doing. But I, I, I'm also, I've also been asked to uh, give a, a one hour of recital and uh, it's my first one in a very long time. Uh, but for those of you watching, thank you very much for supporting me. Uh, it is wonderful to have uh, the opportunity to perform uh, live in this situation before I actually have to do it. There's a lot of rust on the fingers, so to speak, when it comes to performing. Uh, but anyway, I, without further ado, I should move on to my next piece. I may need a little bit of music to help me with this one because I have not uh, played... Uh, well, I've played this, but I haven't really memorized it. Uh, this is a piece by Chopin, a very famous Polish pianist. Prelude, Opus 28, number seven. I was supposed to play a study in B minor next. Uh, however, I, I still haven't quite got this one memorized. So I'm going to move on to the next piece. But uh, hopefully I'll have study in B ready by the next time I go live, which should be in two days from now.
That was the wonderfully popular Gran Vols by Francisco Trega. Many of you will know it from the channel, uh, but also the fact that there's several bars in there that Nokia used as their ringtone, and that that ringtone became famous around the world. I think it's synonymous with the earliest mobile phones. It was this part. <laughs> Those, those few bars there, nearly everybody knows, or especially everybody that's my age. Uh, we, we certainly are familiar with that, that ringtone. Well, the next piece I'm going to play is Serenata Española by Hogan Malatz.
I love playing their piece. Full of fire and full of energy and yeah, definitely one of my favorites. I, I actually used it as the backing for a, a video I made on my other channel, uh, which is a driving channel. I love driving, just in case you didn't know. Uh, I have a, quite a sort of, well, a fairly high performance car. Uh, those of you watching from America, you wouldn't wouldn't know it, but uh, it's, I think over there they call it a Chevy SS, but here in New Zealand it's called a Holden a Motorsport Edition or Holden Commodore. And, uh, I went back to my where I was born and filmed a video there, and I I, uh, I put that music in the background. Uh, anyway, I'm up to my last piece, uh, and once again, I'd like to extend a huge thanks to all of you that have tuned in and watched and left left me a, a comment there. Usually, I I do respond to the comments, uh, but I can't really this time because I'm this is like a performance. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, and uh, there is a lot more to come on the channel this year. I also uh, have. A guitar that I've designed uh, on on its way to New Zealand uh, as we speak, and uh, I'll be telling you a lot more about that on the channel. But anyway, I'm up to my last piece, and thanks once again for tuning in.
for tuning in <clears throat> that was the end of my recital i finished it with Vols opus 8 number four by agustin barrios i'll be doing this uh, live stream for my recitals a couple more times probably uh three more three or four more times before i actually have to do it uh which is i think on the 17th of january once again thank you very much for tuning in uh, i'll i'll re respond to everyone after i've ended the live stream uh, yeah, so once again, thanks very much. And as you know, let your fingers fly. <laughs>